Hello and welcome to this month's Maggie Moment. One of the things I get asked about a lot is how on earth do I stop my child from whining? Whining is a really, really big trigger for parents because we really find it incredibly frustrating and irritating because it doesn't have one whine. It has lots of whines that kind of keep happening. So I need you to keep in mind, why would a child choose to make those strange noises? Would they do it with their happy? <laughs> no. So that's a sign that a child is actually struggling in some way and that will impact what we call their arousal state. What we know is that all children, all grown-ups are really good at, a, at number four, according to Dr. Stuart Shanker. It's calm, focused and alert. If they run out of energy, young children, often more sensitive children, um, it doesn't feel good when you run out of energy. So um, a toddler or a young child can't say, wow, just noticed my energy supplies are a little bit depleted. I could possibly do with a hug to help me get back up. No, so they whine. So whining is a sign that something's not kind of working for our child. It's not our child being bad or naughty. So what do we do about it? First thing I probably would do is take a really deep breath and not, not try and get too crabby about it. Because of course, that's just going to add more of a negative kind of feeling in that child's world, which will increase the chances of whining and even push, possibly push it into a um, temper tantrum or something even worse. So I would kneel down, be right near that child and say, is there anything I can get for you right now? Because I don't think you sound very happy. And pause. The, one of the things you've just done is I've actually connected and focused at my child's level to let them know that I'm listening to the whining because I know there's something underneath that whining. Do you need a hug? Do you think you might be thirsty? How about I get you a drink first? Yeah, so there is a reason underneath it. It's not our children being naughty. And that sometimes what we do later, when we've resettled them in this moment, is talk to them about identifying what is the need that is underneath my whining. So again, it's, it's going to take time, but it's not a lot different to a child who does the opposite when they get too much energy and they start throwing toys around. That means their arousal state has become too high. So once again, children are gradually learning to work out how to manage their minds, their bodies, their little hearts, their feelings and their energy, and they're not real good at it under five. So it's about self-regulation. It's not about you being a lousy parent or your child being something wrong or naughty. So I hope that's given you some clues on how to understand whining. And if that's been helpful, feel free to share it with anybody else or even comment. And that's all for this month.